Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my monthly favorites of the month of June. I literally completely forgot last month's monthly favorites, like legit just forgot, left my mind, like fuck. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of May's favorites and June's favorites because... I forgot me. But yeah, today is 4th of July. Well, not technically today. Today's June 3rd, but I'm going to be editing this and uploading it on July 4th. So yeah, happy 4th of July. Um, I don't have any makeup on. I only have highlighter, literally highlighter, lashes, and brows. That's all I have for today because I was just feeling like very like, you know, not putting anything on because I've been doing so much makeup lately. Like I've been beating my face almost every day. So yeah i wanted to let my skin breathe a little bit um and yeah if i look busted i'm sorry this is this is me natural me you know with obviously with brows on so in my last monthly favorites video i asked you guys what to name my monthly favorites videos because i really have absolutely no idea what to name these like i i, I don't i don't know what to name these so someone said name it lids and shits which was honestly one of my favorites someone named r.i.p on in my last video, they said, name it Lits and Shits. Someone said, snatched, snatched or dashed. I like that one too. But I think, uh, I think Lits and Shits is going to be mine. I really do love that one. That one's really, really funny. Like, Lits and Shits. So I guess it's going to be our adopted name for the monthly favorites videos. And if you guys agree... Then comment down below but if you have a different name comment down below as well but i personally really like lits and shits so yeah guys if you want to know my lits and shits of the month of june then please keep on watching Alrighty guys, so I have a lot of uh, favorites because since we are combining May and June favorites, you know, it's going to be a lot. Not a lot, probably like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight favorites and like just like two hates. So let's get on with it. So the one product that I have been absolutely obsessed with since it came out is the Morphe Prep and Set Setting Spray. I literally ran out of both of these. Like they're gone. Like there's nothing left literally oh shit sorry but literally it is like ugh, it's just so good like you guys don't understand at first i put it on and i wasn't sure if i liked it or not because my nose rubbed off but i don't know what happened that day but after i used this on my clients and on myself everyone says that they loved it and that their makeup has lasted honestly one of the main reasons why i love this is because i apply it before my foundation and it literally refreshes my skin it's like one of the best prep and set sprays i have used it's so good i don't even need fix plus anymore because this literally did it for me and it is only 15 dollars. so girl girl and it's an aerosol can which i love i just, i don't know it's just perfect like morphe seriously seriously did this one they this is like one of the best let me see if i have anything left nope i don't have anything left but Morphe, this is the best. Honestly, you guys need need to get this. I am legit obsessed. So moving on to my next favorite, it has to be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Honestly, guys, a lot of people say that it is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. But in my opinion, I think they're a teeny bit different. They are similar in which they dry matte and the coverage wise as well. But with this, you get so much more product. Like when you apply it, it literally like covers your entire face. And then with this, you're going to like, the only thing I didn't like about this is that you have to like keep on going in and in and then just, you know what I mean? Because it's such a little small applicator. But overall, I am legit obsessed with this. I love using this on my eyes to, uh, you know, as a base for eyeshadow. And honestly, as concealer, it's really, really, really good. I am really obsessed with this. And... It's very inexpensive. I'm not sure how much it is. I'm going to be putting it on the screen or down below. But this concealer is honestly one of my favorites of this month. And y'all should get it. So my next favorite of this month has to be the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Bomb Cosmetics. I actually haven't tried this in a video. But I've tried it for the past two days. And it's so good. It's a little bit darker than Hula Bronzer. But they're in the same um, category like they're both almost literally the exact same except this one's darker um i love cool tone bronzers that's literally one of my 
all-time favorite things because I don't like to warm up my face so much. I'd rather contour and have a defined cheek. I actually wore it today too, like when I did my makeup and stuff, and it's honestly so, so good. My friend B by David recommended this to me, and I honestly just had it laying around there, and um, this is really, really good. This isn't suitable for like darker, darker skin tones, but it is um, really great for people who have my skin tone or lighter or even darker than me. Like this is honestly like a really good bronzer, and I've been super obsessed with this. Now the next, oh my god guys, I can't even like express how obsessed I've been with these blushes from fucking Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are the blush trios by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I don't have my actual favorite one, which is Peachy Love, but this one is Cocktail Party and I've been using it as well. But guys, these blushes are absolutely stunning. I... You guys have seen me use this in all my videos. And if you're a first timer watching this, go back to my old videos because this literally snatches my cheeks to heaven. Like it's so, so, so good. My absolute favorite one is Peachy Love, which I'm gonna be linking down below because that is probably the only one I fucking love, love, love to death and that I actually use every single day and on my clients because it's such a pretty peachy color and I love peachy blushes. I will only wear peachy blushes unless it's cocktail party. But other than that, like I, I've been so obsessed with the blush trios from Anastasia Ridley Hills. They are a little bit more on the pricey side. You're going to be getting three different blushes and a mirror. So honestly, I think for the price, it's a little bit worth it because it's, it's beautiful, beautiful, obsessed, obsessed. Alrighty guys, so my next favorite of this month has to be Adam's Apple by House of Beauty. It is a new highlighter that they came out with actually this month. And I've tried this before. I'm actually wearing a little bit of it today. Um, I'm really excited to try this because um, Lynn from House of Beauty, she created this highlighter in collaboration with a makeup artist named Dan and Nicole, who unfortunately her son took his life away at the age of 14. So this um, highlighter was inspired by you know, suicide awareness. So all proceeds of this highlighter will be going to charity to spread suicide awareness. So I am completely honored, you know, to be a part of this and to, you know, share this with you guys. And honestly, the highlighter itself is gorgeous. So if you're wanting to purchase a new highlighter, you definitely should purchase this one because it's honestly for a good cause and it's such a beautiful highlighter. I'm gonna swatch it a little bit better for you guys so you could see. It's a beautiful highlighter, guys. Gorgeous. So it's like a bronzy glow. At first, I thought it was a little bit too dark for me, and it is a little bit too dark for me, but once I have foundation on and everything else, it looks really good on my skin. So I am very, very obsessed with this highlighter, and I am so happy that House of Beauty created this, you know, to spread suicide awareness. So yeah. Alrighty guys, so next on my favorites list has to be this mascara from MAC Cosmetics. It is the Bold, Bad, the Bold, Bad, and Black Lash Mascara. So this mascara is in collaboration with Lehigh High, a Korean pop star, and it came in like a huge package and then this mascara was just in there. And honestly, I love this for the bottom lashes. Not so much for my top lashes because I do have straight lashes and it's this is a very water-based mascara so it wouldn't really work to like curl them what really made this item on my favorites list was this so on the top here this little red thing i had no idea that it was a little tiny mascara wand so you're going to be getting two little mascara wands for the price of one i am legit shook i was so shook guys i literally was so shook when i found out that this brought two mascara wands like girl so this is actually perfect for the bottom lashes i was i was in shock it's so good and i do love the packaging like it's like a metallic tube with like suede lettering oh if i came out with a mascara it would have to be like just like this like it's so beautiful and yeah this is literally one of the best mascaras for the lower lash line besides roller lash this is really really good okay guys so the next item on my list has to be this eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It is the Mega Liner in the shade Voltage Blue. Oh my god, I was wearing it earlier today. I'm gonna insert a picture of what I had on today for this video, but um, you know, something happened and I couldn't film with the look, so I decided to just you know take everything off and film like whatever. It's just a long story, but yeah, I was wearing this today. Look at it. Hold on, let me see if you guys could see that. 
What I love about this eyeliner is that it absolutely does not crack. You know, sometimes when it comes to like really bright, like vivid colored liners, I mean liquid liners, is that they crack. Like with NYX, everybody knows that NYX Cosmetics has the best liquid white liner, but that it, but it cracks. Like it's super white, but it cracks. And I fucking hate that because it just makes everything like look ugly and I don't like that. But this, honestly, I don't know what Wet n Wild did, but it literally does not crack. I had it on today. I had a really thick eyeliner today and it didn't crack. I was shook, shook. Now the last item on my favorites list and girl, you already know this is not a surprise to you. Like. The Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette, you guys. This seriously shook me to the core. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, what the controversy is, what's going on. This palette is good as fuck. It is one of the best palettes that Morphe has ever come out with. I don't know what they did. I really don't understand why it's so good. Um, because Guys, look at this. I'm gonna swatch like the teal color right here. Right here, look. And as you can see, it is so pigmented. And that's a matte shade. Like it's so, so pigmented. I don't understand what they did with this palette or the formulation. People are saying that it was pressed a little bit more differently. Um, I don't know. I do watch these like controversy videos, but I don't really like care enough to like pay, pay attention to everything. But yeah, I've been absolutely obsessed with this. These blend like a dream. They're so buttery, so pigmented. And best of all, there is no fallout. Like, it's so weird. If you guys saw in my last tutorial that I did, there was barely any fallout. Like, I was shaking, like quaking, bitch. Like, seriously, quaking. Like, it's... The fuck? But yeah, I really do recommend when this goes back in stock that you go ahead and, you know, buy it because it's honestly a really good palette and a great addition to your makeup collection. Alrighty guys, so that was it for my monthly favorites. Now let's move on. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to burp. Alrighty guys, so that was it for my monthly favorites. Now let's move on to my not so favorites of the month of June and May. Basically the shits. I'm not sure if I like lids and shits yet. I'm still trying to debate on what name to call this video, but yeah. Alrighty guys, so I have two items only for the month of May and June that I really, really did not like at all. And they're actually from the same brand. It is Wet n Wild. Please don't kill me, please. I'm actually going to be doing a one brand tutorial on Wet n Wild. But I don't think I'm going to be using these products because I don't know what happened. So the first item that I'm going to be talking about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. Um, I did not like this at all. Like when I sprayed it on my face, first of all, first of all, when you spray it, it's so strong. Like it goes shh like that. Like it, when I sprayed this on my face, it literally splashed so hard that like I felt like I got punched in the face. And I don't know if I'm just sensitive or if, you know, it was like, or if I like dropped it or something, I don't know what it was, but I don't like the, you know, the super strong like spray thing. And on top of that, it burned. Like when I applied it on my face, I, like it burned. And I don't know what the ingredients are in this, but um, yeah, it, it kind of burned. Setting sprays shouldn't hurt. <laughs> they shouldn't burn. And this burned me so um, I don't know, maybe you have to try it again, but this was not my favorites for the month of May and June, like, sorry. So the next item and the last item that I'm going to be talking about today is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick from Wet n Wild as well. I tried this and the bright pink one that they sent me and I, I don't like that. Okay, when I tried this, it was extremely patchy. I had to do at least like four layers to make it pigmented. It was... It was not the tea, guys. I don't know, I didn't like it on my lips. And I have big, big lips and it didn't cover anything like at all. It's it wasn't it's not really good. But um I know Wet n Wild has other lipsticks that are great, but this is it's not good. Sorry. But yeah, guys, that is it for my monthly favorites and my not so favorites of this month and the month of May. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. 
And if you have any other ideas that you want me to do, anything that you have in mind, let me know down below and I will get to it as soon as I can. My Instagram and Twitter is MorphineLoveMUA and my Snapchat is MorphineLove. I will be putting all of that down below. I love you guys so, so much and please stay safe because um, I know everybody's gonna get fucking crazy as fuck for the 4th of July. I know I am. Um, but yeah, just stay safe. <laughs> Again, I love you guys so much and stay safe.